Hola Geminis, welcome to your mid-month tune-up for the middle of September 2022 and moving forward. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or a live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, King, please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Geminis for the middle of September 2022 and moving forward from the middle any messages would be greatly appreciated we thank you what do you see what do they need to know are some of you hung over right now <laughs> i knew that was a weird thing i got hung over a lot of cards are popping out for you guys maybe recovering from a little a night of too much that's just a, a a little side thing, not the entire reading. Okay, five of swords in the upright is in the challenge position. Ten of swords in reverse is uh, advice. Alrighty, make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is, not what your love interest, for your extra, extra to have your love, your career, your finances, your health in there specifically. In my playlist are your 2023 sun moon predictions. Please be patient. Uh, they're still coming out. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Your 2022s are still in there if you want to check those out while you're waiting. Knight of Wands in the upright as you move forward. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate. Um, and any of the links below in support of my efforts. That's always appreciated. Uh, otherwise, let's get to your reading. Um, all right, I, I'm feeling as though somebody did something they weren't supposed to do. Either they had a night out and they drank too much or they were hanging out with the wrong crowd or, you know, they just, um, you know, threw common sense kind of out of the window, um, you know, did, did, did whatever they wanted to do, whether it was going to betray someone, cheating on someone, an affair, stealing a friend from somebody else, um, anything in that regard. Um, I don't know if it was you or the other person. And I think it was, it was excuse me, I feel like it was done to you. I'm just getting that, you know, and it was, it was probably a friend or a group of friends and you just kind of got carried away and they did something and I feel as though um, they might've hurt you. They might've done something um, to you. Um, equally so, it could be, it could be a family member. Um, lastly, I feel like it could be a romantic love interest, but I'm not, I'm not really, you know, 100% certain, okay? I just know there's a group of people and I feel like they did something to you. Um, the challenge position here is the five of, of swords in the upright so i feel like you're being very vocal about this uh, i feel like the other people might be minimizing it being like come on it was no big deal don't get upset you know what I mean? when people kind of do that and i feel as though you just want to given the business you just want to uh you know you're going to do whatever you can um you're trying to do whatever you can to make sure that you're right that they know um that they were wrong in their actions and you may not be going about it in a very nice way um you know i, I just feel like you're kind of giving them the hammer so to speak advice is the ten of swords in reverse i don't want to say let it go but i also wouldn't dwell on it longer than you need to i think what's going to happen is um this situation is going to start uh you know hurting you more than it's going to be hurting them um you know they're saying in the middle of september moving forward you might want to focus a little more on um you know moving past this or uh you know growth after the fact um you know learning what you're going to learn out of it um you know, dealing with whatever happened and, and eventually healing and recovering. So basically, you know, you can't hold on to this forever. Um, and I feel like you do that because we have the Knight of Wands here in the upright. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> this is you, at least to me, enjoying life. I don't I don't feel like this is a, a person. I feel like this is you. I feel like, you know, you're like, screw it. I'm going to I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, you know, and find something you're real passionate about. I mean, it could be somebody, you know, running into someone encouraging you to do so, but I feel like you just end up jumping into something else and saying, you know, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna kind of let this ruin my joie de vivre. vivre. I always have a hard time pronouncing that, um, so to speak. You're like onwards and upwards. Um, so, that's a good thing. So whether that was the advice of the read from, from the advice of the reading or just you the wherewithal to realize you're staying in that energy a little bit too much. Yeah, bad people. Um high priestess or reverse or bad person. Uh some you know, there's there's sorcery there, uh somebody um, you know, uh doing things they shouldn't be doing. Um 
you know, that, that may have even blocked your, what you had going on because we have blocks to creativity, we have blocks to intuition kind of going on. Um, secrets could have been kept from you. Um, you know, the, these people or this person might have done something because they desperately need validation. So they kind of threw you under the bus, um, I'm feeling. Um, the world card in the upright is kind of finality and along with the hangman in the reverse where you're saying I am done with these people. Um, never again. Um, closing out this chapter. I need to surround myself with people that don't do this shady stuff. Um, Hanging in reverse is not compromising on that. I'm saying like my expectations are for people to be like this. It may be a really high bar, you know, um, but I don't care. I, I just, this is unacceptable to me. And, you know, I feel like you're just done with whoever these people are. Why is the uh, five of swords in the upright? Okay, so this is really bothering you. Your uh, challenges, you're having a hard time. You feel positive, feeling positive about it, optimistic, kind of keeping your chin up. Um, you know, looking forward to the next day and whatnot. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of something that's looming over you and affecting you um, in many regards. Uh, you're really kind of dependent, relying on what happened with that, rather than kind of saying, "Hey, these people aren't worth my time." Um, I mean, you are saying that here, but I feel like, you know, you dwelled on it for a while. Um, you have you had a hard time kind of, or you're going to have a hard time kind of, uh, creating a new or manifesting something new for yourself. Um, you know, kind of out with the old and with the new. Um, I really feel like you don't know what to do with this situation. I feel like you're really, I don't know if you're angry or, um, really upset. And right now you're in a state where you can't really kind of think in, uh, or at least in the middle of September where you can think in positive ways, um, that are productive. Um, I really do. They really do want you to hop out of this energy though. Why is the 10 of swords here in the reverse for advice for Gemini's? Who's this person? What's this energy? You know, because they're, you know, they're saying that, um, for one thing, bad things happen to everybody, you know, um, and, and it must be overcome. You must kind of move on from it. But if you kind of continue, um, if you don't kind of, uh, you know, move past this or, or learn from it or whatever you need to do to move on in a productive and healthy way, um, you know, th things are steadily going to get uh, worse for you. They're going to start spiraling, spiraling out of control. Um, you don't want that happening. Um, the, Ten of Pentacles in reversed is, um, you know, these people were not uh, your rock. They were people that you could kind of count on. Um, and you did learn that lesson, you know, that uh, people, some people aren't meant to be in your lives forever. And the relationships you have with them at one time aren't necessarily going to be the same connections you're going to have, you know, later on. Um, I'm telling you to be very guard, you know, be guarded in the future. The lesson to be learned here is that everybody isn't as nice to you, to you or has the best intentions as you do. I mean, I think you kind of went about it as, hey, I treat people as, as I would like to be treated and not everyone's going to be like that. So, um, you know, be a little more guarded, not so open, not so trusting because some people will take advantage of that trust. Why is the Knight of Wands here in the upgrade? Who's this person? What's this energy? You're like, hell yeah, I'm just gonna buy a new car with flames on it and be done with it. Um, <laughs> okay, Six of Pentacles. I don't know why I got forgiveness for the Six of Pentacles. I usually do not get that. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords in the upgrade. And we have the... Um, two of pentacles in the reverse so i almost feel like with this six of pentacles i mean you do move on and it's almost as though you pity them okay so you know it's kind of like well you know, be kinder than necessary to them because they um you know they have their own demons to kind of deal with um does not do anything with me i'm just gonna live my best life here with this knight of wands in the upgrade but they don't like that so they keep on with the five of swords in the upright and the the two of pentacles in the reverse they want to be on top they want to kind of um they want to kind of get to you and bother you um they want to have conflict with you or they're trying to have conflict with you um and they're trying really hard to do it i mean the two of pentacles reverses when someone is like you know really struggling trying to get someone's attention or trying to invite them to a fight or something like that um yeah don't don't play into that would be my suggestion so um, you know, the best revenge is living your best life. So 
that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646 902 5715. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. And my playlist are your 2023 Sun Moon predictions. Put your requests in the comments. I will put you in queue. Your 2022s are still in there. Uh, see if they rang true for you. And then look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in the links below in support of my efforts anything is always appreciated otherwise to gemini sorry gemini's i will see you in the vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye